Hello everyone and welcome. Thank you for joining me on this day as we spend these moments with our Good Shepherd Jesus. And today God asks us and commands us to remember. I read from Psalm 105 verses 4, 5, and 8. Look to the Lord and his strength. Seek his face always. Remember the wonders he has done, his miracles and the judgments he pronounced. He remembers his covenant forever, the promise he made for a thousand generations. Memorial Day. To some, it's merely the beginning of summer, and to others, it's a solemn day to remember those fallen soldiers who paid the ultimate price for our freedom. In Bowlesburg, Pennsylvania, there's a cemetery said to be the birthplace of Memorial Day. There are three young women, Emma Hunter, Sophie Keller, and Elizabeth Myers, began the custom of decorating soldiers' graves in 1864, while the Civil War was still being fought. They wanted to recognize the contributions of villagers who had paid the ultimate price, and they did it with what was at hand, some homegrown flowers. The idea of decorating graves caught on and today, because of the thoughtfulness of Emma, Sophie, and Elizabeth, millions of people across the nation this Memorial Day will remember with deep affection those whose lives once touched theirs. Throughout the Bible, God's people are instructed to stop and recall what he has done for them. Psalm 105 is a song of remembrance of God's goodness to his beloved ones. It traces his direction, provision, protection throughout their history in the lives of Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, Joseph, and Moses. As believers in the 21st century, we can look back up over a much longer uh, history and see how God's plan has and is unfolding, and observe his incredible goodness to us. That greatest good is what God did for us in the ultimate sacrifice of Jesus. Jesus was all about sacrifice. His whole life was a sacrifice. His crucifixion was indeed the greatest act of sacrifice in the history of the world, a perfect demonstration of his own teaching in John 15, 13. Greater love has no one than this, than to lay down one's life for his friends, Jesus says. His supreme suffering of his sinless life paid the terrible cost of all of mankind's sins for all time. I encourage you, my friend, in this memorial season, take time to remember not just the soldiers who have lost their lives protecting your freedoms, but Jesus who gave up his life so that you could have eternal freedom. We pray. Teach us, Lord, the best way to pay an unpayable debt is to show with our lives that we didn't forget. Help us live in a way that honors you and the sacrifice you made for us. Amen. Well, my friends, my prayer is that you never ever forget what God has done for you.